Hey guys, welcome to the vault. Upcoming drops exclusive sneak peeks episode 47 goes in about a couple minutes. Uh, Pierre Josh Leon here in the house today. Uh, drop a like on the video, let us know you're here in the comments. And for now, enjoy this beat by the BP Mercenaries. Mm. Always a sign of good things to come, right? Mm -hmm. When this beat drops. <laughs> we tried using the other one the other day and we got kind of screwed. Yeah, we did. That's all right. Less than this, sampling. This, this is like like when you're about to fight Goro in Mortal Kombat, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've never played that game. You get off like a 180 hit combo and it only takes like 20% of his power away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and for everyone out there, um, Pat and I will be designing a bunch of hats tomorrow. So uh, go to my stories, right? In my stories, um, I put in a, um, I put in a uh, kind of an interactive uh, story post that allows you to, to share which minor league team um, you'd like to see. I've got a list of about a hundred already. That pa that post is getting a lot of attention. I want to get more out there though. Tell me what teams you want to see minor league baseball wise. Snap's not on tonight, guys. So if you guys don't see him here, that means he's not here. Like I won't be here on Friday. What's up, Carl out in West Virginia? And no AS, I will not bust a freestyle. <laughs> and yes, Desi, I don't play video games. Not my thing. While well, a lot of my friends were playing video games, I was playing basketball and not to sound not to sound disrespectful, but real sports. William Rivas, you're you're free to watch whatever you want to watch. Um, this show survived a long time without Snap. It does well with Snap, and it would survive again without him. Bye. As much yeah. as I love the guy, so if you don't want to watch because he's not here, see ya. <laughs> don't care. As much as I love him, he's not the one that put in the work to build this show. But I love him. Is the Texas game on today? Max Scherzer, yeah. back, right? I didn't even, yeah. I didn't even checked. Houston's winning five to two. Yeah, damn. All right. His well, last. JDQ, oh. Hold on, hold on, JDQ. Uh, my girlfriend Anna did tell me that you visited the store, and she said you were fantastic, and she loved uh, helping you guys out. I wish I was there to meet you. I'm sorry I wasn't, but um, you know. No, William, it's okay, man. It's all love, William. I'm just fucking around too. Uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame pre-order will go through Friday, everybody. So people asking about that, it'll go through uh, Friday, I believe, which is tomorrow, right? No, today's Wednesday. Oh, yeah. yeah sorry. Thursday. My days are all fucked up. So <laughs> through Friday, I think, but maybe we'll keep it open a couple extra days, man. Let's We'll see. But definitely the the Rucker Park and the two minor leagues that were the two Eugene Emeralds with the Rucker Park, that's going to close Friday for sure. And there's a Fresno 2.0 and 3.0. Oof. Oof. Just take my money. Oh, <laughs> man, there's so much good stuff. And tomorrow, I love... Pat and I are going to sit there. We're going to be in the store tomorrow. Even though the store is closed, we're going to we're gonna meet in the store tomorrow. Pat's in the U.S. right now. And we're just going to build hats for hours. That's a good Thursday right there. It's one of my favorite things to do, man. You yeah. know? Pat's energy is contagious. It's just, and um, and no, there are no Topper Store USA previews tonight, guys, because our order is a little delayed. So I bet you what's going to happen now is the rest of this order that that just came 
and then the next one will probably hit us like in in succession and you guys are just gonna be overwhelmed with how much shit comes out can't keep up and justin beers the date in dragons is on our list for tomorrow you guys mind if i before we go you mind if i read off the list everybody yeah yeah no problem so these are the teams that we're going to dig into. Vero Beach, Durham Bulls, Louisville Bats, Salt Lake Bees, Charlotte Knights, Dayton Dragons, Williamsport Cross, Cross Cutters, Bowie Bay Sox, Scranton Rail, uh, Rail Riders, Modesto A's, Syracuse Mets, Springfield Cardinals, Memphis Redbirds, Lake County Captains, and South Dakota Spearfish. That's just right now. Like I, I, I've got to go through the story and, and write down like 40 more teams. So is that that's on the docket to be built tomorrow? Or those are the options. We're gonna we're gonna do our best to build them all. Oh man, that's a good list. Yeah, that's a good list. Yeah, so get ready, get ready, everybody. All right, let's get hit that countdown, Leon. Let's do it. It's the views from the ball live and direct, and it slaps the finest that fit into community built on caps. Sponsored in part by the best in the business. No suggestions of fittings of classics and vintage. New era sickness, fire in the mix is ridiculous. It ain't no secret to the dopeness. If you're not focused, you left hopeless. Speaking the science of drops and what's tops. Pierre, Leon, Jason from the for bringing you nothing but hot. Best of the best, exclusives and clean vision. It's a distinct mission in the embroidered thread of a system. To bring you nothing but the real, just link and get with it. All keepers, no sleepers, no weepers, you know what it is. BP merch work the sequence first, bringing the work with the fits. It's the moment you've been waiting for. It's love and some assaults yeah. welcome to a whole nother level of fitted this views from the vault welcome to the vault guys uh, we are back with some more exclusive content josh leon pierre here to bring you guys another episode of upcoming drops exclusive sneak peeks episode number 47 all right let's show off our hats tonight right and do a little poll you want to do that let's do it all right let's get started so josh is here he's looking a little sleepy <laughs> nah, I'm here. I'm here. I yeah, just, yeah, yeah. I've been taking. I know care why. Of my wife. I know why you look a little sleepy. Nah, I've been taking care of my wife. She got surgery, so it's been a long last four or five days. But how's she doing? She's doing better. She's doing better. She's getting. She's getting there. That's good. I she's always. Good. I know that she's usually off to the side in there while you're uh, while you're doing this, and uh, and just I'm I'm sure like poking fun at you. So hopefully she's back. She's back up to normal pretty soon. It was great yeah. to have you, Josh. So why don't you show the hat on your head, buddy? All right. I got a new For You Caps drop. You know what I'm saying? Polo mm -hmm. hooks from mm -hmm. For You Blue Brims. You know what I'm saying? A little nice polo vibes with some metallic details. You know what I'm saying? A yeah. great bottom action. My favorite. I like it. I like it. Thank Leon you, W. Chen, what are you wearing? Uh, because the Maple Leafs don't really make... NHL fitted no more. We went with the Marlies tonight. Shout out That's to nice. Mm, AHL, American Hockey League. You know they play in Canada. Toronto Marlies. That's a good looking hat. Is that from Anthem? Um, still. Still. Okay. All right. Cool. So what I'm wearing is um, the Cardinals real tree. So what we decided to do with this one, go full real tree, and we didn't want any uh any script on this, no print. So we went with the Cardinals logo that just has the two birds kind of staring at each other. It looks like Milo and Josh kind of on a tree, you know, staring at one another, you know. Ready to, ready to fight. And then what we did with the side patch, we put another Cardinal there. This is an old school World Series patch, World Champions patch, but we kind of dulled out the words on there just to make it look like another Cardinal sitting on the side there. So this is um, the real tree, full real tree, uh, St. Louis Cardinals. Um, this will be dropping online. So everyone's asking me, is this going to be online? Yes, these will be online. Um, these are going to sell fast. And then the store is going to have them on Saturday. Sound good? Yes. All right. Sir. So let's put that poll up there, Leon. And then I'm going to also show off what's dropping tonight. So this is dropping tonight, everybody. The Yakima Bears 1.0. You've got a full brown um, crown and visor, green and UV. You've got that bear chomping on that bat there, all metallic, metallic copper. Man, oh, man, does this look great. And I will give you guys a little uh, a little uh, sneak, uh, not sneak peek, but more like uh, insider information. We have a 2.0 coming, but we also have one coming that has this on the front. And we did something really cool on the side. So when you guys get a chance to see that one, you're going to be like, holy shit, this is crazy. 
So this is dropping tonight. Quantities are limited, but um, I, as always, like if we oversell, we'll move to pre-order. So um, if it moves fast, we'll go to pre-order and make sure that everyone can get a hold of this hat. But that doesn't mean don't try tonight. Um, so we will put this on uh, once we get to 220 uh, viewers. We'll uh, we'll 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 drop this thing. Does that sound good, fellas? Beautiful. Yep. All right. Let's do, it. Let's do it. Let's do it, fellas. All right. So we are starting off today's show with uh, Capland, 10 a.m. tomorrow. Photo fades did this one. Chris Cross is what he's calling it. Chris Cross, like those two rapper kids? I think so. We used to wear backwards clothes. Mm -hmm. Chris Cross was... That's bringing back memories. <laughs> I think Didn't they spell it with a K, though? Yeah. Chris, they did. Yeah, they did. That might not be it. That crisscross will make you jump, jump. That was their thing, right? It's a style looking hat, though. Yeah, yeah. Nice little fall. Runs in like old Tony Gwynn, maybe Dave Winfield. Mm. Yeah, good ass hat. All right, nice job, uh, Capland and Photo. Nice job. All right, sticking with Capland. Uh, we have this video to watch. Unfortunately. Nah, don't show Not these. All right. <laughs> no, no, we can you can show it. Uh, listen, all right. tramp stamp hooks. Ooh. No, they have full pictures of these somewhere. I think I think maybe Jason posted it. Hat crawler. No, no, no. If go to um, go to his page. Go to his page. It's on there. He just does the little the little peeking thing. Oh, this is dropping on Thursday as well. Capline's got a lot, I guess. This one as well. Yeah, there's it's called a Legends Pack. Oh, here we go. You're not feeling the filigree? No, man. <laughs> this I think came from uh Lids when Lids did that money pack. Yeah, that's right. Andy was showing us the samples. Well, no, I bought a few of them. I like them with the green mm -hmm. because it looked it, it just had a different look to it because it was plain. Look at my face. Like it hasn't changed since I seen that shit. These are <laughs> atrocious. My, I guarantee you, somebody's Puerto Rican grandma has those things tattooed on the on their lower back. For sure, for sure. That the crown molding. Is. Can we do a poll? I want to make sure I'm not the one that's like that. I'm not like misreading this. Like this, these just look bad to me. All right, what are we calling this they thing? My, they put my my grandfather Roberto on the side too. They going crazy. Pirates, Capland, feeling it? Yes or no? Cop drop. Want the drop, man. Don't give a third option. Just cop or drop. When you do the third option, it's hard for me to get a read of what people are thinking. I feel you. All right. Cop drop. Listen, I like to like these polls. What I like is that it gives me a chance to see if I'm living in a bubble or if my opinion is in line. You know what I mean? Like, am yeah. do people agree with me, or do are they like not nah, here? This is a mess too. It's good. Let's, give it a little, let's let it ride for a minute. Go show the video too, Leon, just so people can get a good look at the hat. All right. Like the embroidery looks good. I just don't know if I like the execution. Oh, satin brim. New York. Yeah, but Jersey. what's this one even about? I... Yeah, like why why a Mets with a jank with a Jackie? Yeah, I don't know. Like I understood the the Seattle Mariners one you did, but yeah, this don't make sense. I can't with these, man. I gotta look away. Yeah, but doesn't don't these like? I don't know, man. It's too much metallic. I'm sorry, it's too much fucking metallic. It's too much. It makes me hate hats. I gotta look away. <laughs> I like to do shout out to Rare. Like I've said, I dude, I have never once said I don't like him because I do like him. But the, yeah. the hats he's made, I'm just so it's I'm so over him, man. It's the same trick. Over it's the same again. thing over and over again. Who made that? Rare fitteds. Oh. Nah, all right. Let's uh let's see what let's see what we got here. We got a uh, 93% drop. That I've never seen something so clear. 
Let's do another poll, though. Which one's better, the Mets or the Pirates? Like, maybe, to me, the Mets is better, right? Yeah, if, if I had to pick, yes. Like it's if I'm got the, like, the lemon me. zest crown with the satin and the Jackie patch. I might lean Pirates, man. But Really? But it's, it, it's like... I know. <laughs> I can't do that tribal or whatever that thing is. I can't do that. It's like asking me, you want to get punched? You know what? I'm going to be honest with you, Josh. When I, the people hated the lids ones, right? They were plain Janes. It had that and it was green. I, I actually didn't mind them. I bought a few of them because I thought they were like, I thought they were kind of cool. But, you know, I was in the minority there. I'm not going to lie. People were like, oh, Pierre, you're a fucking idiot. Like, why do you like that? But. No, but Leon, they're like in the Mets in a landslide. Yeah. That's interesting. Uh, I don't even know if that's Vegas gold. That's not that's not lemon zest, though, is it? Yeah, it is. Maybe it is. It looks like lemon zest. It looks like it. Lemon zest satin. Metallic all over. Yeah. All right, let's uh let's move on here. We'll do some more polls tonight, though. I kind of like them. Oh, All right, so Leon, how about you take us through this? Yeah, I'm going to show them. Because I have them in hand. One second. So we're doing a double drop for Halloween uh, tomorrow. So this is the Zombie Boy. We originally released it about three years ago. Um, got a little bit of glow in the dark there in the, in the flag. And then this was our original hit um, a couple years ago. There's a TC for the capologist hidden in his teeth. Mm -hmm. uh, green under. This time we, we took that back and we kind of pulled like a noble north move. We took the back and put it to the front. All right, I'll see the TC now. That's that's cool. Yeah. So. I don't care what anybody says. This is like um I know there is some uh some some weird pointed hate out there around some of these, but like listen, if this isn't your cup of tea, it's not your cup of tea, but these are good good looking custom hats. Like that's what a custom hat looks like, you know? Yeah. And I, I want to tell everyone too, about five years ago, these things were like you couldn't keep this kind of stuff in stock. It was interesting. Yeah. Huh? It's changed a little bit. Everyone wants license. I like the second one you showed. That one. Oh, yeah. Like, if I would have to pick one, yeah, that's mm -hmm. more calm and looks creepy. Yeah. It doesn't look, you don't look corny, you know? Yeah. We try. Yeah, but, yeah. Not like the other one looks corny either. The other one, it does its job, you know? The but, other one's more like clink roomish. Yeah. Mm hmm. And this other one feels more like it could be a Halloween theme night hat for a minor league baseball team. Facts. Yeah. You know? And I like that TC little Easter egg that's thrown in. <laughs> Thank you. I don't even see it. Yeah, it's oh, right in the middle where you see the space. Oh, I see, I see now. I see it. It's just kind of hidden. Yeah. I got it. It took me a you second. Know, it's, hard to, it's hard to carve a fucking pumpkin. You ever tried doing that? Yeah, it's not easy. Bro, that shit is Those hard. little janky knives they give you. Fuck yeah, that, that shit, should man. not Terrible. go through. You have to really use like an exacto blade and a, a kitchen knife. I'm happy my son's past that age now. <laughs> he don't want to do that shit. He just wants to eat some candy and watch a scary movie, you know? So I'm good. All right, cool, Leon. Thank you for showing those off as we continue to move along here. Uh, Capsule. They're doing their scaredy cat pack. So Ooh, spooky gray, these. black, orange under. I don't mind these. Yeah, these aren't bad. For a Halloween colorway, they're not bad. Yeah, they're not bad. I messed with this. You see, now that New Era's unlock some of these like weird switched up colors on the side patches, people are using them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> w Pick 24 wants me to convince his wife to not make him carve pumpkins. I listen, man. Here's the beauty of my girlfriend, right? If I'm like, I don't want to <laughs> do that, she's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. You just gotta get the good knife. You, you, you can't just use that crappy nah. plastic knife with a little bit of metal on it. No, but both both Leon and Josh have met Anna. She is so easygoing. She would never she never makes me do shit I don't want to do. I don't know. Like I hear all these horror stories about people, significant others, making them do all this weird shit they don't want to do. I can hear Anna saying, okay. And just walk she, away. Yeah, she doesn't care. As long as I take care of her, as long as I do some cool shit with her, she's she's cool, man. She never gives me a hard time. Got a little coffee, you know what I'm saying? And that's it, man. That's it. Shout out to Deanna. This is her nephew right here. Oh, there he is. There he is. Ah, 
STT Anna's nephew. You know which hat that they previewed? I want to show this. I like a hat that they previewed. And I'm not into mixing velour with other things, but go to that Seattle hat. Go to It's from um, the other it's, one. It's, it's from it's, Capsule. It's from Capsule, whatever, whatever that is. He did a really good job with this, this hat Ooh. right here. I don't know, man. There's something about this I really like. Okay. It's different. I still haven't fully committed to the whole, you know, Velar, you know, fat or whatever, but it looks all right. At least feels nah, that's a good looking fucking hat, man. Let's do a poll on that one, Leon. All right. Uh, let me end this one. Oh, it's ended. So we call this half real tree, half lore. Thank you, John. Somebody said the polo owes this fire. Ty Cobb, I'll work on I'll, I'll work on that. We'll do another Angels hat. I love doing Angels hats. I don't like this Detroit Tigers hat though. It looks like they used like the tiger. They did. They did the or something. Thing. Yeah. yeah. Houston, not bad. Put on that Seattle hat again, Leon, so people get a good look at it before they 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 decide. So this has that velour crown, real tree visor, and they incorporated all the colors of the real tree into the logos and side patch. I'm telling you right now, when you when you get a velour and you like curve it, you put it on, you're like, it's crazy. Some people liking it. I ain't gonna lie, I was like centimeters away from getting that that yard goat velour. That one. Wait till you see the second yard goats floor. That one almost made me a believer. <laughs> that yard, the second yard goats floor that we did is bananas. Yeah, it's kind of like split down the middle here, but that's what I would expect with a hat like this. This has got some John Jay vibes to it. Yeah. You know, love it or hate it. It's bold. It's bold. All right. Ready to move along, Leon? Yeah. Uh, ECAP got the drop tomorrow. So. Oh. These fucking drippy <laughs> logos. What is that barbed the wire The drippy behind Mets. Me? The drippy Mets. Ooh. I think this is like an old Halloween thing. It might be like a Frankenstein. Some type of Frankenstein stitching. You know what I thought it was? I thought it was like the the stitching on the baseball. Where? It's, it's not though. On the no, that's bar no way. No way. What is that? Is that like a like a that's scar barbed, or something? That's barbed wire. Oh, okay, okay. I think it's like an old Halloween thing, though. Like it's right. meant to mimic like Frankenstein stitching. You think so? I think so. I could be wrong. Yeah. Either way, it shouldn't be used. Right. I like the yard goats. I like the Texas. The jizzed out Mets is crazy. I like the Falcons too, man. You can't go wrong with a Falcons hat. They use like a pewter though, or like a. Nah, man. Listen, they probably you. That's that's that metallic, metallic black pearl. Met, yeah, black pearl. What happens is it comes out looking almost charcoaly. Yeah, but it's probably that light that reflects off of it. It makes it look like that. I feel like historically they've shot away from black for whatever reason. I mean, they have a little bit of black in this yard goats, but typically they don't use black in their hats. Threading wise, it's like a weird thing they do. White is always glowing dark. And black's never black. Mm -hmm. These there's some good hats in this mix, though, right? Yeah, I, I like I like the yard goats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the A's isn't bad. The Texas isn't bad. Nope. That Falcon. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Falcons logos, though, that man. Yeah. yeah, it reminds me of like back in back when I was a kid, right? And remember, face, remember, right? remember Hammer? He had a song called Too Legit to Quit. Deion oh. Sanders was in there. Andre Risen. You know, I know it sounds funny because that he wasn't like a he wasn't like, you know, like a hard rapper. He was more pop, like a crossover sort of rapper. But the song Too Legit to Quit, man, it was like just riddled with Falcons players. And <laughs> the Falcons logos were just they're they're just cool, man. Look at that thing. It's just a cool yeah. logo. Yeah, too legit to quit. I think the Red Royals is cool too. Yeah, it's clean. Houston's not bad. Houston is good. I would say though Houston's good. 
Mm -hmm. All right, so just a really quick update, guys. We have 243 people in here. That's a really good turnout so far. Um, 83 likes. Can everyone hit that like button for us? Let's get us to 150 likes. If everyone hits that like button right now, we're at 250 likes. So let's hit that like button, everybody, as we continue along here. So uh, Alex um, is saying it's the zombie scar. That could, it, it reminds me of some type of program thing. Halloween. All uh, right. Um, before we go in here, Leanna, let's let's do the drop. Okay. Listen, I want everyone to understand these hats are going fast. So please do not get upset in the comments. What Pat and I are doing right now is we're making sure we take care of everybody. So I just want everyone to understand what happens, right? You know, right now, trying to figure out quantities is a tough game. And it's probably the, mo the thing that I've underestimated more about this whole thing was how hard it is to kind of predict and order the right number of hats. I'm just going to be honest with you. It's been a tough game. And like once I got into it, I thought the hardest thing would to be would be keep coming up with ideas for new concepts around hats. And That's been the easiest part. The hardest part is figuring out quantities. I'm telling you. So what Pat and I have been doing is we've been very careful to make sure no matter what happens that we're going to make good on our promise to everybody. So if we have a hat and you want the hat for the most part, unless it's a top or store select hat, we're going to figure out a way to make sure you get your hat. Okay. For example, the first time we did this, we had 750 people on the site. We oversold the hat by like 50 people. And then we just made sure that we opened up a pre-order and we took care of those people and we figured that out. Right. So that's what we do. And that's not because we're trying to, we're trying to milk everybody of money. We're just trying to do the right things here and make sure that everyone gets what they want. So we're going to drop this hat. Please just don't complain in the comments if you don't hit. I'm really sorry if you don't hit, but we're going to take care of you. And if you're one of the people that does get oversold to, we're going to take care of you and we're going to make sure that we do something a little bit special for you. And remember, I'm always a message away. People message me all day long. Don't be afraid to send the Cap Wonder a message if you have a question or something you need. That's my that's my job. I don't do anything else now. This is all I do is you, YouTube and Topper Store USA and Good Hats. Good Hats is coming back just so everyone's aware in a big way. But that's all I do. So don't feel free to reach out to me. I'm one of the most accessible people you're going to find out there. I answer. Um, that's just the way it is. Sound good? Mm -hmm. So let's show the hat one more time in hand before I drop it, okay? Yeah, gotcha. I don't have anybody helping me tonight, so I'm going to have to drop this hat myself. So. Here it is, guys. This is the hat. It's got to be one of my favorite minor league hats of the year. You know, here As it is. If the real tree wasn't good enough, man. This shit is. This thing hard. is. This thing is pretty cool. All right, so Leon, you guys can take over here. I'm gonna go drop the hat. Sound good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I got you. We are back. Uh, we are going to crown legends. They are team up again. With HK Billy, uh, with the Kurt Schilling, bloody sock. Hey, Billy, be ready. And just to be clear, I just want to be clear about this hat, right? Um, um, I just want to be clear that this hat from Crown Legends uh, was supposed to arrive in the vault today. It did not. So I'm sorry, everybody. Um, it, you know, I would be, I, I would love to show it in hand, but I don't have it in hand because it didn't arrive on time. It's stuck in Shrewsbury, Mass. Um, but nice hat. Of course, you guys know me. I'm I'm really, really excited about anything Red Sox. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. Uh, what are your initial thoughts on this one, Josh? So, Kurt Schilling, you're a me, Yankees fan. I don't like um, Boston Red Sox hats, mm -hmm. but I fuck with my boy Billy, so I'm still going to give it a thumbs up. Mm-hmm. It's a clean hat, you know what I'm saying? I just, you know, I'm I'm a Yankees guy, so I can't really say too many flattering things about no motherfucking Boston Red Sox hat, you dig? But yeah. it's cool, it's clean, it's clean. Well, listen, the the um, this was for those that don't like. I'm a huge Red Sox fan. Leon knows this. It no, there there were seven and a halfs today, guys. There were seven and a halfs. <laughs> you called it, P. Yeah, I knew it. I knew people, there were seven and a half. So people are getting on here right away, and there's nothing I can do about that part. But please be patient. We'll make sure we take care of all you guys, okay? Now, what, boy? 
Everything's gone. Is it all gone? Yeah, man. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was fast. Yeah, so this game, listen, I'll tell you guys, I don't it's people may not want to shit. Maybe don't want to hear the history of this, but so I was working at Target at the time, right? And at the time, my daughter was just born in 2004. And I was doing overnights at Target because before I be, before I kind of moved up, um, I was a logistics manager at Target. So I would handle all the shipping and receiving for a high volume store in Boston. And uh, I remember every night I was like, I'd have a game playing in the back room, right? In the, in the warehouse and just watching them, just watching them just fucking just get obliterated by the Yankees. Right. And this whole thing, this game right here, right, where the Red Sox were starting to mounting their comeback, and and Kurt Schoen goes out there with that um with that ruptured Achilles, he should not have been able to pitch that game, and I don't care. You cannot like his politics. You cannot like you know blah blah blah. At the end of the day, it was a heroic, a fucking heroic performance, and um, I think it's been done multiple times. If you remember, Leon, I was probably the first one to do a bloody sock. If you remember. I watched this game too. I watched this game live. But the bloody sock I did first was Sports World about three years ago. Um, and, I, and I didn't have the same sort of um, logos available to me, but this is a really solid looking, um, really solid looking, uh, looking cap. Nice job, HK Billy. Nice job, Crown Legends. Um, and I'm excited to get mine in the mail. And when I do, I'll make sure I post that the right way. Mm-hmm. And guys, listen. Uh, we will do – I already said we're going to do a pre-order on that hat. So we will do a pre-order on that hat. Pat and I have already discussed that prior to this because I knew this one was going to move very fast. All right. All right, so ready to move along here, Leon? Yeah, so I'm going to show off the two I have in hand, but I will show you guys first the one I don't have in hand. Uh, this is their Friday drop, the Space – or Star Cowboy. Space, Space Cowboy. Cowboys, but he's calling it the Star Cowboy. Hmm. And here's one other thing. If there was a seven and a quarter that oversold, I'll I'll put my, I'll I haven't curved mine yet, so I'll add that to the mix. So one less seven quarter got sold. Seven and a quarter got sold out because I'll make sure I put mine in there. Look at you, man. Yeah, you're for the people, <laughs> man. It is getting out of people. The, the man. thing is, like, in all honesty, I want people to get what they want. Yeah. You know why? Because I collected hats. For, I I still collect hats, right? But. It's you a little different feeling. for me now, but like I know what it feels like to not get what you want. It sucks, man. Yeah, the thrill of the chase. Yeah, but uh, all right. So that's one of the hats, and I have the other two in hand. So one sec. So first, I'll show off the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So that one, was dope. For people who actually saw this, they saw it on my shelf and was asking about it. That's crazy. But yeah, real tree. Hat. It's got like the copper rhymes are like University of Texas. Uh, little thing here, black sweater, and then like a rust under. So he's, I think he's calling this the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I don't know if he's calling that publicly, but that's what this hat is. Mm-hmm. And then a uh, ripstop. This might be his last ripstop ever, but this one's an olive ripstop Baron's hat. Twenty-year anniversary. I've been hearing some stuff about people. Sizing up and having no issues with the ripstop if you don't get your your size, but I'm size eight, so I can't go up any higher than that usually. I, I was with ripstop. I found um, you should size up. Okay, fair enough. So I can only get the size provided. So how does it fit you? Uh, it fits you fine. I, I feel like they fit true to size. Yeah, yeah. Ty Cobb, this is still. Yeah, it fits normal. Not any different. Listen, ripstop. Is so fucking comfortable. I don't it's care. Very what it, light. Here's the thing. Here's the problem, right? When it's sitting on a table or something, it slouches. People, it. It's slouchy and stuff, right? But when you put it on your head, it's so fucking good, man. Take shape. It's so good. It's the most. I'm telling you, if you don't have a rip stop in the collection, get one. And then, and in the summer, if you're not wearing some rip stop in the summer, you're missing out because it is so. It's actually. It, you, you ever like you ever wake up in the middle of the night and you flip your pillow over to the cooler side? 
Mm-hmm. Remember yeah, Stuart Scott that. used to say, cool like the other side of the pillow? That's what rip stops like. When you put it on, it's comfortable, and it's like almost cool. Yeah, very um, light material. It doesn't feel cheap like that old, uh, uh, you know those old spring training hats? Remember they used to make them uh, out of like that shit, material? Man. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> They made it, those were way thinner, Leon. I know what you're talking about. Those were mm. even thinner. I forgot what the word was for it. They had a, like a stupid phrase for it, but yeah, they weren't any good. No, nah. but uh, I have some of them. Yeah, we definitely have some. Yeah, back when we used to collect on fields and stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. All right, moving forward. Uh, what then, day are we uh, on? Friday, I believe. Or this might be Thursday. This might be Thursday. What the hell are these? Uh, I guess this is like a need for speed. Ugh, what the Ooh. fuck is that? Some corny <laughs> shits. The flame shouldn't be coming out of it. It should be burning that fucking hat. They spent a grip on doing this. Oh, come on, man. This is what I'm talking about, man. The promo is better than the hat. Look at this. this, this hat- I wonder this how much went right into making this bullshit right here. So that I think that hat is the Arizona exclusive. AZ store exclusive. Like, how much bread you dropped on this promo video? So this shit could be straight mids. Oh, man, this is shit. This is block. There's a couple good hats here, though. I mean, there's a couple good hats, but that 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 other one we just saw is bad. Sucks. Sucks. Yeah, that shit right there, I don't know what that shit is. Like, why that color? Why? Why? Like, that shit giving me Orlando Magic vibes back in the day. All right, let's do let's do this. Let's 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 give it a, a you know an A, B, C, or D grade for this pack. All right, uh, and I- and just so everyone's aware, we we've gotten up to around two hundred eighty people in here today. We have one hundred twenty eight likes. Let's hit that like button, everybody. We really appreciate it if you hit that Ooh. like. That's a real easy way to kind of thank us for what we do every Wednesday, Friday, and every other day of the week. To be frank with you. Let's hit that like button, everybody, as we continue along here. We and should we do a there. poll on this one. Do you think it's A, ass, <laughs> B, basura, <laughs> C, caca, and D, Dick. destroy it? Um, And then they release B for basura. Oh, so these are the pictures of them, if you want to see them up close. I don't know if that changes your opinion. We've got um, tread marks in them, I think. Oh, come on. Seriously, man? <laughs> I crazy. think. Are my, my, my eyes fucking with me? Does that look like tread marks or something? Or is it just a dirty brick? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is. No, nah, it definitely is done there on purpose. That's, that's what it is. Because I remember in the promo of it, it shows like the inside of the hat in slow motion. And it shows like the threads. No, I like our viewers, man. Because they're, you know, they're for the most part honest here, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, there's a lot of people giving it a C, which is average, you know. Yeah, this is this yeah. came out already. This is a polo pack. They're too late to the game with this stuff, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, this pack I didn't mind. This is their collab with Jeff Staple. I don't. I don't mind this. I don't mind this at all. These I like. What? Why? I've got like two pairs of pigeon dunks. Not the not the first ones. Not the hype ass ones, but the yeah. other two. <clears throat> But they kind of recreated the, the the scene, like the legendary scene from uh, the original Pigeon Dunks when the, they got the store was stormed. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, I, know. I think that's a cool like little bit of advertising. That looks like Hot Club sometimes on a regular day when <laughs> they're going crazy for Rushmore shit. That's just yeah. fucking weird, man. I, no grown man should act like that for a fucking hat. Like begging and like, and even the scene itself is, it's like. Like I literally seen a video the other day of that same shit happening. It just was like real though. I would never act like that, man. Nor would I want to run a store where that's, that's, that's how people act. Fuck that shit, man. That's weird, man. Tossing hats at them like they're fucking like peasants. Like it's weird. Get in a line. Don't come out of the line. If you do come out of the line, you can't shop here. Period. I remember when um when the camp out, shit, man. I remember when the camp out used to like, you know, hold the lines down and organize it all out. Like yeah. none of that stuff exists no more. 
they're, they're kids. No, 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 they're not. Some of these people are grown men acting like that. I saw a grown man cry over some hats, man. That's fucking crazy, man. Come on now. Come on. What's interesting about these and what's good about these is that, you know, see how it says staple underneath it and it's got the pigeon on the back. These can't be replicated. So that's kind of cool. So I can understand people getting really fired up for these sorts of things. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually do like the execution on these. I may not like every color, but. Yeah, there's like one or two that you could say that are, are cool, like they're possible. Yeah, he used a lot of bird logos. I, I like this. I, I've been a big fan of staple for a long time. I don't remember if he added the bird shit on the back. I don't know if he did, though. That would have been a cool touch. If they put the bird no. shit on the back, I'll cop. I like I don't the bird shit on the back. No, I don't, yeah, I don't think they did either. No, listen, I think like I think that's cool, but a lot of people don't like it. Yeah. Oh, the bird doo-doo? Yeah, I've got a Celtics, a Celtics like um snapback that he did a while back with that. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. They probably have people, people tell me, like, yo, you got some doodle in your sweater. Good luck. If a bird yeah. shits in the front, they're like, oh, that's crazy. It's supposed to be if good luck. Bird, if a bird shits on you, it's supposed to be good luck. Yeah, but that's mm -hmm. also what I would tell someone to make them feel better <laughs> if they got bird shit on them. <laughs> like, don't worry, you. I, listen. And you talk about kids, right? I have a kid. I have two kids. My son, there is nothing in this world that would, like, physical item <laughs> that would make him cry. <laughs> you know I mean? Look, if my better. son, if my son, listen, I'm an old school dad. Leon, see me, my son. My son and I are super close. Like, we're mm. super fucking close. Like, and Josh, you've seen it too. We're super close. We we're like we're almost like uh, frat buddies sometimes. Like well, I'm his dad; he knows the fucking deal, right? But and you roast each other a little bit. Yeah, roast each other, have a good time. If my son ever cried because he couldn't get a physical material item, I would fucking lose it on him. You failed as a father. <laughs> <laughs> he would never do that. You guys know him. He would never do that. He would yeah. never do that. Brady, he, don't be going crazy for shit now. Like, nah, man. Nah, he ain't stars. like that shit, man. Nah. I do like that my um yes, I, I've taken my son's phone away before. Absolutely. 100 percent Absolutely. That that's their lifeline nowadays, right? But what I do is there's certain moments my son can't have his phone. Like when we're in the gym, that phone is in the fucking bag. Nice. You don't take that shit out. We're in here to fucking lift weights. Yeah, that when we're at the dinner, when we're at the dinner table, you put that fucking phone away. You know, when we're doing certain activities, my son does not have that fucking phone. No way. That Phones, I worked for Apple for 13 years, and I love Apple, and I love technology, right? But those phones are fucking terrible, man. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, man, TikTok, phones, all that stuff. If it's, yeah, for kids. Yeah, if you can do it in moderation, but most of our younger people can't do that. They're not moderating shit. They're no, they, because they don't. Day. They don't because it's so easy to abuse, yeah. right? And as a parent, I am the one who sets the fucking ground rules. You know, it helps too. I never, I've never, I would never physically hit my, I would never hit my son. It's just not what I do. But, but he thinks there's a chance I would. <laughs> That's all you need sometimes. That's all you need. You know, yeah. like I remember, I remember like the looks I would get from my parents and stuff. That's all you fucking need. But I'm not going to let my son become a slave to this technology because that's when he loses all those great characteristics of himself. Mm -hmm. You know, he like my, my son is when he doesn't have a phone in his hand and he's just talking to me and we're just experiencing life. There's no human being on this earth I'd rather hang out with than my son. Period. And I think the first, the worst thing you can do is allow allow them to get become prisoners to technology. That's my yeah, opinion. That's what's happening nowadays. The kids are being are, are raising themselves with the technology because the parents are stuck on the phones too. You know, they get nah, instant gratification lazy, from being on. Parents. Let me give you an iPad so you can say the fuck out of my hair. No, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my son. He's going to go to the warehouse with me. He's going to work. He's going to he's going to experience his friends. But he's going to be with me. He's going to experience fucking life. And I'm teaching him how to be a man. How to work. 
Out of my Google son Google. is going to be my son is going to be an immensely successful young man because all the other young folks, not all of them, I can't say that. A lot of them are going to be too busy up technology's ass while my son is going to be hustling. They're going to be chilling, getting high, getting drunk, partying, taking selfies because it's instantly gratifying to them. Like if, if nobody's in their faces constantly telling them you're cool, you're fly, you're sexy, you're bad, they'll go on the gram and they get a bunch of likes and they'll be like, all right, I feel better now. The worst part about it, the worst part about it, right? is that when you're looking at social networking, it's people showing you what the version of you they want you to see. The best, the most shiny, spliffy version of you. You know why people love me or hate me? You want to know why? Because there's no fucking showmanship. So when someone's like me, they either like me or they hate me because there's no frills. It's just that's who I am. There's no fucking show for you people because I, I am just who I am. And if you don't like who I am, fuck off. And I'm teaching my son the same fucking thing. Don't ever lose sleep about what someone else thinks about you, man. Unless it's me. All right, let's move on here. All right. So Hack Club. Now we're moving on to uh, Hack Club NoHo, right? Is this another Rushmore pack? Yes, it is. Here we go. Rushmore They're going to beat this shit to death 26. now. They're going to beat this shit to death now. Watch. I mean, there's so, these are some solid hats, though. I like that A's. That, that's Goose's A's. I like the Phillies. The Phillies is very reminiscent to he did that same sort of style with all the right on his Phillies, but it was green. Okay. I do oh, like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now. I do yeah. like it. I like the Phillies. I like um I like the Orioles. It's calm and cool. I like that that upside down Arizona. Goose's A's is cool. It's chill. I like the A's. I like the Arizona. I like the Phillies. I like the Washington. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. The rest of it is kind of pedestrian. Yeah. Right? They're just normal fucking hats. Yeah. So no, please, don't like go to that club no hole and start fucking crying like a baby because you didn't get that, that Twins hat because that Twins hat's been done a thousand times. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. That Phillies hat, though, is something special. Washington again. A's upside down Arizona. I'm with you on that one. Um, but come on, man, that Texas hat is that fucking good? Like, is that really like wow? I, oh my god, that's such a good no, it's not, man. It's fucking pedestrian, man. Leon, you're on mute. It reminds me of the Dallas Stars kind of cross check they did a couple years ago. Mm-hmm. And when I'm saying pedestrian, that doesn't mean I think they're bad, it means they're average. They're regular. There's nothing yeah. wrong with them, but they're not crazy either, you know? No, because you can't get crazy with MLB anymore the same way. Because uh, it's all fucking been done, man. So many people doing it. Yeah. 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 Why do you think that I'm so focused on minor league baseball? Yeah. Because it's fucking different. Yep. And if you can find a way to do MLB different, go for it. But if you're going to keep doing the same shit, then stop. Right? Mm-hmm. The way the culture moves forward is if we get creative in a way that still is like somewhat coloring within the lines because people coloring outside the lines now has gotten too wild over the years. Color within the lines, but find new logos, new side patches. Do something to set yourself apart. Do something a little bit different. Right? But I'm sorry, but that Texas hat is nothing. It's not. It's not special. It's not. I don't care what anybody tells me. It's not special. Mm-mm. Yep. All right. So that's that. Do respect them, and and I do respect what they do for the culture. But I'm just yeah, calling they right work hard. They do a lot oh, of work. Yeah. You know, go 100%. ahead. But as, okay. as much as we might not like some of those hats, there's been a bunch of them that we have liked. So, you know what I'm saying? Can't win them all. 
Yeah, that's it. What you mean, Metro? I don't know what you mean by this. What? I don't what, know. What did it say? <laughs> Why Leon ain't more... I don't know what that means. Can you, like, clarify this, Metro Mist? Um, I don't speak sure. Yeah, right, I don't know sure what, what they what meant by sure? that. Uh, my Wait, can show, Leon, can I show off the hats oh. from um, Shop Butterfly that are coming out? Yeah. yeah you no can problem. help me narrate a little bit? Yes. So the Mets is a Action Bronson Doc Lecture hook. Dr. Lecter, right? It's like an Dr. album. Dr. Lecter. Doc Lecter. Action Bronson. The Silverback Gorilla. Action Bronson, man. He, like, he, um, he is like the reincarnate of Ghostface Killer in terms of the way his voice sounds. It is fucking ins- uncanny. Yeah. He lost a lot of weight. He did. Yeah. His new bounces are pretty cool, too. Mm-hmm. All right. So that's that one, right? Mm-hmm. This one is pretty smooth, man. This is Tombstone IPA. You got a satin crown. You got that poly uh, kind of like tannish visor. Green UV. Got some metallics in there. Good looking hat, right? Mm-hmm. So these will be dropping at um, Shop Butterfly on Saturday. I miss his show on Vice. He, uh, he used to do a show called Fuck That's Delicious. Hmm. And I think he had to give that up to do his weight loss thing. Before we move on, right, Leon? Let me show mm-hmm. a couple of hats from the hatchery drop. Now, we're going to have a full preview on the channel soon, but I'm going to show... I'm going to show a couple of hats from the Hat Dreams drop on Saturday. So it's spicy. Look at this thing. That was Beautiful, actually right? great. This thing is insane. Nathaniel, do me a favor. Go into my stories on the Capped Wonder and answer the question in my stories. I'll add it to my list. Look at this. What other hat store is doing it like that? Come on, man. Just send me a team. We'll figure it out. <laughs> All right. So that's one hat. Let's show another one here from this drop. And then Snap did a hat with Hat Dreams. That's dropping on Saturday. Mm. These are both dropping on Hat Dreams on Saturday for the full preview. Check out the channel. Um, Friday... Friday evening, we'll have the uh, preview right. up. Jason's saying, listen to Meteor Hammer. It has ghost and action on it. I won't be able to tell them apart. <laughs> uh, we are on Saturday now. My hat stop. They got a little mm-hmm. Tacoma Rainier's action. Mm-hmm. Not bad. I like that. That was hard. And then they have this one. Saturday as well. Mm-hmm. What are you thinking, Leon, about these? I prefer Rainiers, I think. I don't know if I love the orange rust color with the real tree. It's okay. I you know me, I like the hunter orange. That like really, really I bright. don't yeah, I know you do. I don't like any orange with this. Yeah. There's not, the, it, you know why for me, Leon, it 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 takes it from a fashion cap to like something someone would actually fucking wear to hunt. That's why I like it though. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I can't do it. It's man. like the practical of it. Like you, you might can take this on a hunt. But you know, Leon, can you pull up the uh, Topper Store USA site? I do want to show everybody something because I've had a lot of questions about this. I want to show everybody it? something. So, because you guys are seeing a lot more pre-orders, I want to show you something on here. So when you're going onto the site, right, Leon, if you look across the top, there's a pre-order button. So because of because of the um, frequency of pre-orders right now and people wanting to hit on certain hats, Pat and I want to make it a little bit easier. So um, while we have a lot of people here, this will be helpful for you guys if you're looking to pre-order. So re- this will always have the current pre-orders right up there. Now, you can... This is going to obviously change from time to time. So on Friday, we're going to drop off the Emeralds and the Yankees Rucker Park. But 
just make sure when you're perusing the site, um, you can check out um, the uh, pre-order section um, because that, that'll kind of help you guys out a little bit. So I did want to show that, Leon, because I'm getting a lot of questions. Yeah, no okay. Problem. All right. No problem. Let's continue on here, fellas. And it looks like uh, Action Bronson still has his show. It's just not on Vice anymore. Thank you to the comments. Ooh, I, like this. I like this hat, man. Uh, Nine five north looks like they're doing Discord drops now. Uh, this is our Sunday. Oh dang! I like that one. I do like that hat. Oh no, this one's old. Yeah, this one's old. I, like I, I think uh, Crappy Gilmore's doing a hat with them, which I can pass on. Yeah, I don't see it. There it is. Uh, it was. No, that's before. not. That's not his. No, his looks trashier. <laughs> Yeah, oh, it'll, it'll come up eventually, but Wait, I, I don't uh, see it. I think, um, which one are you talking about? The the brown and blue one? Yeah. I like that one. That was nice. Yeah, I don't like it. It's not here, so I don't know how we we're, would we're, we're, see it. Dude's a clown that makes clown-ass hats. Oh, damn. That's what he is. He's a fucking clown in my book. Yeah, I'd, I would call him worse, but we'd probably lose our monetization. This is a good ass Orioles hat, though, man. Yeah, I'm a beauty. Yeah, this that is shit beauty. is hard. Oh, that side patch, too, man. Wow. Good job. Good job, 95. All right, cool. Nice job, 95. You got some good, uh, definitely some good hats dropping on Sunday. That wow. Phillies has nice, too. Uh, I like this my finish drop. I'm going to be honest with you. I like almost all of it. I'm going to guess you don't like the Washington. Yeah, what the fuck, man? Um, I love John. What is he doing? What is that thing? I'm going to guess you might not like this. No, I like everything else. Okay, okay. Listen, would I wear all of those? Um, I, I don't know if I'd wear that White Sox hat, but I like, I like what he did with it. That Royals hat is smooth. That Japan All-Star Series is fucking badass. Every other hat here is good to me. But the Washington looks like it has fucking measles. I like the the what the Washington? Yeah. No, the other one, the dotted. Oh, oh, oh. I was about um, to say I like the one in the middle. This that one. bottom one is caca. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? But can we get a closer look at that one? He didn't provide. So hold on, I have his site ready to or his page ready. He didn't do any close ups of it. Mm, I wonder why. <laughs> Come I on, Johnny. I couldn't find one. Hmm. I could not find one, unfortunately. Is that the the Russet page? Yeah, this. Well, this is. Yeah, this is Russet Sunset. Maybe okay. there's a reason, but. Hundred and one Dalmatians. What? <laughs> I don't know why. Walk the dog. I have no clue, man. There's got to be a reason for it, but every other hat. I like all the other hats on this page, man. That Bronx Bombers is good looking. Yeah, that was all right. I like the Washington, the, the DC one in the middle row. But is isn't it? that like a – um? isn't that a cascading DC on the side? I think it is, yeah. Looks like it. Looks like it. It makes your, the logo look your, different, though. What's your favorite hat on here? I got to see well, what's on the side of Houston. But I I'm, think I'm that Houston, Houston one's really nice. Yeah, I'm eyeing the Houston. It's clean. Mine is probably the mine is probably the Braves. It has that 1957. It has like a 1957 patch on it. Oh, so this is a Milwaukee hat. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah I, I like think the pulled, Milwaukee oh, Brave hats. This one, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, this thing is fucking sweet, man. Come on. Yeah, that was nice. That that close up shows you what it really is. Yeah. You never see the script too with the tomahawk. I like it. That was, like that was beauty. Ooh. That's interesting. That back is cool. He Listen, he did do one like this with those two same patches on it on a double up. Mm. It was the Hank Aaron hat. Yeah, that was nice, man. The Hank Aaron double up. Didn't the Hank Aaron double up have both Hank Aaron patches on it? Oh, wait, maybe it wasn't Hank. Uh... I think there might be two, uh, there two, might be two um, Atlanta okay. Braves, uh, two Braves double ups. Like maybe I have to pull it out. Yeah. 
Uh, we had a question here. How does my fittest drop at New Air wind that one? So the first one, it was like a design lab. There were design lab hats that he released himself mm -hmm. that New Era Buffalo released. And the second time around, I just think New Era Buffalo just released them. I'm not exactly sure how it worked, but it seemed like you had to get them in person. It's as far as I know. Yeah, because Buffalo, the New Era Buffalo is like everything's in store, no? I wonder if I can get a hold of those. Let me, can you guys give me a minute to mm -hmm. see if I can get a, I don't know if I can get to them, but let yeah. me see. Uh, they they sometimes sell the stuff through the app now. Oh. Some of the stuff, not all of the stuff, okay. but for the most part, yes, it's uh, in store only. Um, I really wanted that Bison tap, but I didn't have that. I didn't have enough time to go last weekend to go grab it. I wanted the Bison. How far is it from you? About two hours. Oh, okay. Two hours, but I got to cross the border and stuff, and it's like a whole thing. They're right across the border, though. Like, I barely have to go into deep America to get the buffalo. It's like, from the border, they're like seven minutes, which is pretty crazy. But uh, getting there on a Saturday, sometimes it's a little hectic. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is, is the Toronto traffic. It could take you next time you go over there. Give a give me and Milo a heads up because yeah. you know sometimes we be wanting stuff from there, but we don't, you know, yeah, we yeah. don't have a proxy or nothing. Like that. Yeah, wow, look like, at this man. Please tell me from there. Yeah, I was right. It was in Milwaukee. Look, well, no, but it had a different side logo. Look, this was the Milwaukee one. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. I don't think yeah, anyone. Cool. This is a cool looking hat, right? I like it on that one too. That's like two, three Here's years the, old, right? Uh, these are old, yeah. Yeah, I like it on that one too. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one with the two. That yeah, seven one five. Yeah, I have that one. That that's kind of like the one. Yankee he just did recently with the World Series patch and the All Star Game patch on the back. I love I'm just showing you too. a bunch. I'm showing yeah. you some double ups, right? So like, this one's good. Nice so, nice. so when Hank Aaron passed away, they blocked those patches to the team. Only the team can use those patches now. Gotcha. Dude, this is probably one of my favorite John Jay hats ever. The Drake? The Drake. Yeah, that's why I copped that Yankee he did with the double up. Mm -hmm. A lot of people were like, oh, you really like that? I was trying not that to rock cool. the double up for a long time, and then he just released bangers. I think yeah, I, I like it. Too. I like the double up. I think that shit's cool. All of them. Same thing with the chrome. I tried to resist chrome, and then he just killed the chrome, man. All right. He that's all I had to show. He did some great chromes. All right. Uh, Where else are you going to get that sort of depth of coverage? <laughs> yeah, well, you just start, you just start like six months ago. And not to throw any shade at anyone who started six months ago. Uh, Prosidi, East Coast Ox. I like the uh, Tribe Called Quest. Who's this ox? is what? That's, that's Pop Smoke? Uh, I don't think they said. Uh, I'll do some research on the side, but. I have Pop Smoke. Yeah, that'd be this? snapped. That'd be ready to break down and. Tell you everything about the hooks with the happy fan. Oh, yeah, the woo. Okay, all right. Well, because of woo, oh, okay. yeah, because right. of woo. Yeah, <laughs> this has got to be the tribe called Quest, right? Gotta be, yeah, of course. I'm gonna kick it. Uh, this might be a Griselda thing, maybe West Side Gun. Mm hmm. I actually have a, a Griselda New Era. The snapback? Yeah, the red one. The red one with the white. Strip. I like the the better the better drop they did, but they didn't have any size eights, man. I like the um I like the side patch they did on it too. It's really nice. Conway probably took all the sizes. Wore the same size as me. The aces, I have no clue who this is. 
that's the point. Like, who cares, right? Yeah. If it's not in your face, you don't know what it is. What's the point? Uh huh. Maybe Jay Z, maybe Ace of Spades. But that is the East Coast Ox. Probably is, cause look, it's uh, it's by the Brooklyn Bridge, so maybe maybe mm -hmm. it is. Cause he owns Ace of Spades, right? Yes, sir. The Champagne. That would make you sense. Think that's what it is, though. I think I so. Y'all don't say it. <laughs> All right, let's move along. I could be wrong. <laughs> oh, he kind of hit it. Uh, I'm not trying. We got to <laughs> unscramble that. Uh, Pro Image 805 with It's Just Different. He's got this uh, spooky Indians. L.A. San Fran. Master Ace is a good guest. Texas. Oh, there's a lot here. Guardians. Oh, my God. No, man. Not that one. It's just different. He does a good job. Man. He's, been, he's been collaborating with a lot of different hats. He does a decent job. Yeah. He's a solid. Yeah. I like... I like Halloween hats, but I also like Halloween hats that you can wear outside of Halloween. So like That's this the only kind of Halloween hat I like, man. I don't, you know. <laughs> yeah. So you can you could wear this at any point, but still feel like it's Halloween. I think the red black one you could wear at any point of the year. All right. Um, Let's move along here. Capa Nova. There's a lot of stuff dropping this week, man. Yeah. Uh, Sunday, Capanova. I really like this uh, Blue Jay right here. I'm, I'm a fan of the Yankees script. I like the Cubs. I'm at the phone a friend for this one. I cannot stand that um, prototype Astros. <laughs> this is the only picture we have, so uh, I would like to show you guys more, but this is all I have. Uh, heavy metal pack. They're calling it. Mm. All right. It's got some metallic in there. Maybe that's why, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, six. Right. Six. They're saying this is the weekend, but I'm not sure which day. So we're just gonna show. It's Pennywise, right? Mm -hmm. I have no clue. Oh, Jason. Okay. Jason. Yeah. This one's Freddy. That one's not good. I mean, this has been done before, right? I know. Hello, Lorona. No, was that? Yes, that's okay. It's okay. Nightmare on 606 Street. Yeah. Oh, this is Saturday. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. On the other post, they just say weekend. They don't really. Oh, it could be Leatherface, maybe? I don't know. Okay. The top two feel like horror hats. I mean, the bond two is just hats. like I know it's the season for it, but I'm sick of the Halloween shit and the horror. Me too, battle. man. Me too. I'm not even a horror movie fan. I know a lot of people are. I, I'm not even into that shit. Uh, for you, caps. They uh are doing a pre-order and it closes tomorrow. So if you guys missed on any of these, um, you have the chance. This Cubs man, it's a strong Cubs. I never thought someone would do the one green panel hat. Remember, I Yo, bro, in once. person, it's so beautiful, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but shout out to Brandon, man. Someone did it. I, I never thought someone would do it, but here we are. It's a good hat. It's very, it's a very good hat. You remember I mocked that up as a joke one time, Pierre? Mm hmm. On the uh, Brooklyn Dodger hat? I remember. Yeah. Someone did it. Shout out to Brandon. And the uh, and the grizzly is is a really nice hat too in person. I wasn't really feeling the Houston one too too much, but then we saw it in person and I just grabbed it. 
Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm still not feeling that one. I'm still not feeling that. Yeah. I, I like the Cubs, that. and I like the Astros below the Cubs, and that's that's what I like. The other the other four I don't like at all. You don't like the Grizzlies at all? No, the side patch looks doesn't look good at all. I know. Dude, the, these call I I understand the hook, right? Polo. Yeah, it's like polo, the polo with their very mm-hmm. with their primary colors and whatnot. But mm-hmm. I don't know, man. The Cubs one to me is really good. The Astros are really good. The others, I'm like, ah, fuck it. It's just been uh, done. It's just the been Grizzly done. one. I thought the same thing too. Like at first, I was like, ah, whatever. And then um, my boy Hat Demon Penelope's that he yeah. got it. He got the Grizzly one and the Cubs one. And yeah. yo, the Grizzly one looked nice when the light was hitting it. Cause the Grizzlies like all metallic, so yeah, looks- that's not my problem with it though. My problem with no, it the side, side patch. patch. I know the side patch in person. It looks a uh, it looks a little more passable in this picture. It kind of looks all mashed in together, and the colors don't let you read it. Yeah, right? why is the fucking bear white? On uh, on what on the, on the, on side, the side patch? patch? The oh, top yeah, is a bear. Yeah, I don't know, but I I think they just really tried to match it more right with there, go the back. actual rugby. Isn't that the bear up there? It's white. Up here? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah, nah, man. That looks stupid. Yeah. But I like I like the colorway. I did, but mm-hmm. the bear is like yeah. yeah, you just you the rest just of the in the sick. side patch. So you wear this out, right? You wear this out, right? And you got this fucking blotch of white on the side patch. Like, that's the part that I don't like. Mm-hmm. You got the details matter, man. The details of matter. They matter. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's really pretty in, in hand, man. I mean, the pictures it looks good too, but in hand it looks awesome. Yeah, yeah. So jump on that pre-order while you can, and then we're previewing a little bit farther ahead than we usually do. But this is Monday next week. We might not get a chance to preview it again. So Cool Jays okay. with Brim City, they're doing their horror pack. They're brave for uh, posting the inspos. But uh, Shining? The Hellblazer? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, this is this is a risky move, putting this all out there just as clear as this. Yeah. It. American Psycho. Some of these stores fall under the radar, man, because the they're just not. Well, I'm not going to say they're small. But, you know, they're a big sneaker store, but. They're small in this world, mm-hmm. so they get away with it. They probably haven't gotten their hand slapped yet, but just like everybody else, they will eventually. Yeah. Any of these stick out to you, though? Mm, I think the Twins is a good-looking hat, and I think that Tigers one is kind of different. Yeah. But the other three, nah, I'm good. I think the worst one is the Cincy, but the rest aren't too bad. Yeah, but the Phillies and Astros, like whatever, man. Who cares? So so fucking good about them. They don't. These don't scream horror pack to me at all. They're just regular. No, they scream. We've been done before. Yeah. All right. What's next? I mean, exclusive fitted is doing a pre-order. Uh, as well. So this is ending Saturday for these hats. Mm. Oh, exclusive fitted. <laughs> this is the cleanest hat they've done in a minute, though. That is a nice looking hat. This reminds me of like that polo stuff. It just feels like everyone's doing that right now. I mean, Ty Mathis did that like three years ago. I'm uh, I'm all set with the polo stuff. Yeah. Like I got this one because I have I haven't bought any other polo hooks that I've seen in like the last year, so I said F it. But yeah, like I'm totally over it. Mm-hmm. I mean, Hat Club did the polo stuff too. It's just overkill right now. Uh, so Justin posted this hat, Lakeland Tigers, Tiger Town. This is pretty cool. And I don't know if I, I I'm not a big fan of the Lakeland Tigers logos. No, no, I think it's different. It's like got a military theme to it. And they post this one. I like this one a lot. Avalanche hook. 
And that's a good looking hat. Yeah. And, and there's some like, I guess these rush bars are coming later, later. So San Fran, St. Louis, Braves, Philly. So the rest we've kind of seen previewed. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, T eight hundred posted a couple different ones. So this Otani. Nope. This Blue Jays. Seattle. What is that? Is that black? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's Rock. a good looking hat. Gold. Absolutely. This one. Regular. <laughs> this one might piss you off. Um, I can't. What, what is it? What is the point of this? <laughs> so we got some jazz with some Chicago with some Rockies. What the fuck? Rockstar. This is what I imagine a serial killer's brain looks like. Looks like on the inside, like just like yeah, I'm gonna like, piss everyone up. up shit all over the place. Like, come on, man! I'll throw all the bullshit I can on one hat. Listen, hats have to have some sort of cohesion, right? A cohesiveness to it. Like, look at this thing. Landfill. <sighs> Landfill. Super Saiyan God. Jordan Five Grapes. When they beat the Utah Jazz, I don't like what Jordan Bulls Five and Jazz '98 Finals. <laughs> yeah, Bulls Jazz. That's when. Uh, that's when. Um, that's know. when. Uh, that's when Jordan broke Byron. Uh, what's his name? Byron Scott. No, Byron Russell. But By yeah, broke his with ankle. The shot with the shot. Come on, man! This is. Lost my screen. One second. He'll come back. Even the screen was pissed off at that. The screen was like, yo, what is this? Uh, let's see here. All right. Uh, Lids HD didn't post anything, but Lids Lids did. So these are, I guess, are in store. They're Melton collection. Melton. Melton wool? No, thank you. <laughs> you not feeling the Melton? Melton wool? No. No, Ooh. nope. They use the worst Toronto Blue Jay logo, by the way. Do not use that. No, I don't like Melton Wool, man. No, uh, DPM. You got a Royals and um, a Diamondbacks. Is that a Duke Cook? Mm -hmm. Is that what it's in it? Yep. I mean, they got no, they're not even close to Duke, right? Who? Arizona? Arizona. No. Arizona is out in the fucking west. <laughs> Duke is North Carolina, no? Yeah. I guess. I mean, Duke's like, Duke has logos you could use. <laughs> no, they're saying no hook. They're good looking hats, I'm not gonna lie. I prefer the Royals, I think. Yeah, that's the one I like. That's the one. Yeah, I like, I like the Royals too. All right, we're getting towards the end here. Yep. Barrio Secret Sauce. Secret uh, Service? What is that? Barrio. So it's air air piece. I don't know. So we're doing <laughs> Obama's henchman now. Okay. Um it's not that it's henchmen, it's the fucking secret service. All right, this is the president well, protectors. Don't call them henchmen. <laughs> the president protectors. Um he it's available this weekend, Capcom. Okay. Sharp looking hat. Yeah. Let's take a look at Ty Mathis. What's he got? 
uh, he did a twist on an old hat. Ah, uh, yeah. So I think the previous iteration was Plain Jane, if I'm not mistaken. And he brought it back. Everything he does is clean. Yeah, great photos. Getting there, getting there. Oh, USA Cap King is back. And they actually made a good one. Oh, good. Yeah. This is good. Thank God they're not doing those weird eyelets anymore. Yeah. Happy to see them back and doing well. This is a good hat to me. It was only this I saw. I like it's just different, but he does this with every post. Thank you so much for continuing to believe in me and my work. Like, just thank him oh. privately, man. Oh, he did it. Okay. Yeah. I like I mean, it too. But it's like it's, it does that. I mean, if they don't tag you, I guess you got to let them know, I guess. I don't know. That's what it is. Oh, it's you just want to be known that he did it? I guess so. I mean, the store didn't tag him. Yeah. Sounds like a him and the store problem. Yeah. I guess that's like a, what you got to do sometimes. Yeah, like tell them, yo, tag me, scumbag. <laughs> no, those guys, I can't use say cap here are nice. <laughs> what are these? Um, Beavis and Butthead. Our buddy Ozzy. Desecrating Jackie Robinson. I mean, you could do Big Beavis and Butthead without the Jackie Robinson, though, right? I like Ozzy, man. Shout out to Ozzy, but... Oh, this is home game that's dropping this, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't like these. I don't like these. All right. And that's it. That's it. The last one was the Yakima Bears. Man. It's Man. A fun show. Man. Fun show. Mm hmm. Let's see. What do we have? We have 230 people still in here. Let's see how many likes we got, everybody. Oh, Pierre, can we can we clear up something before we end the show? What is it? So I got into a disagreement with someone online from the community because they were we were talking about the the Yomi Yuri Giants hats mm -hmm. from home game. Yeah. So. Remember, Snap was saying how he has fans and people that love him in Japan and that they sent over the hat from Japan. And you yeah. said, no, they didn't. They didn't come from Japan. You got it from home game, right? So the person is disputing with me and telling me that the hats are from here, that they're not Japanese hats. They're not from here. There's no way because there's no licensing here in the United States for those teams. So I don't know what sort of clearance they got to do it, but home game in Japan, in my, from what I understand, shipped those hats to the U S and they sold them in their other location here in the U S U S you cannot make that hat in the U S that's why the tag is on there too. It's got a different hang tag, everything. It's, it's, it's like, it's a Japanese hat. Like everything you just said is what I told the person and they were just being very disrespectful with the way that they were addressing me on the information that I was trying to provide to them. So I just want to let, um, let me, hold on. <laughs> I just want to get this message sent out to um, Hatter underscore 5950 because you blocked me because most of your hats are trash and you're trying to dispute me what I know to be facts. And thank you, Pierre for clarifying and backing what I said. Mind you, we didn't speak about this prior to the show starting, correct? No, so, but I also said it. I think I said it on the show itself, didn't I? No, he sent – and the reason I'm bringing this up is because he even sent me the clip of you telling Snap, no, you didn't. You didn't get it from Japan. You got it from home game. And I said, bro, he's saying that's who provided Snap that. Was being, Snap was being funny, right? Because because there's an inside joke around him – being uh rude to our asian brethren in uh in yeah, places such as china and japan and things like that so he's making a joke 
But at the end of the day, you cannot make that hat in the United States. Otherwise, don't you think I would have done it? Like, I mean, exactly. I tried to explain to the person. I said, listen, these hats are licensed only to new era Japan account holders. So by them having a, a parent store in Japan that makes the orders over there and then sends a couple of pieces out here to their New York store is how they got it to us. But Pierre is not saying that the hats were made in the U.S. He's saying we got them from a store here in the U.S. Yeah, listen, I, I mean, I, I'm I don't run that store, so but from what I just explained is what I believe to be true. Yes, exactly. So, and the guy blocked me. He said, "Stay in New York where you belong." <laughs> like I know, I live here. <laughs> this is where the sauce is. Listen, I have a hard time myself, like avoiding confrontation because you're always in this weird place, right? And I was talking to Leon about this today, about a situation he was dealing with. It's like, you're in this place where you don't want to retaliate, but you do. <laughs> like, you know, you sit there and like, the hardest transition I've had to make in life is trying to figure out how do I just avoid these useless confrontations where people are trying to bait me into a fight. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm a, I'm weak when it comes to that. Like, I'm always very honest. Like, I, I'm not someone that's going to bull. I am weak when it comes to fighting that urge. Because when someone chooses me, my dad, I, I think back to my dad, right? My dad was always like, you know, he taught me not to be a bully. And I was never a bully. I was, I was actually one that was bullied in school, right? When I was younger. My dad always taught me one thing. Like, you don't, you don't, you don't ever start fights, but if someone chooses you, you fucking finish them. <laughs> And this stays with me all – this has stayed with me my whole life. But as I'm getting older now, I'm, I'm approaching 50, believe it or not. I know I, – I'm not saying I look young, but I'm saying I don't look 50. But I'm approaching 50. And at this point, I'm starting to realize that these people that are baiting me into fights and doing all this stuff, it's fucking not worth my time, man. I got too much shit to do. <laughs> like – you know, yeah. can I spend, should I spend 20 minutes arguing with someone online or should I spend it making my son's life better? Or should I spend it building hats with Pat or blah, 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 blah. Right. And that's it. And I'll, and I'll address the big Henry thing in a second. The, so that's, that's, that's just, it's, it's one of the hardest things to do is to just slow down and just avoid those things. But this guy, Henry, today, right? Like, I don't have a problem with Henry. I personally don't have a problem with the guy. But you got to be careful when you start throwing rocks in glass houses, and it goes both ways, right? Number one, Leon and I have to be careful because we're critiquing people's hats left and right. So if we put something out and they don't like it, and I told Leon I don't like those. The hats that he's making fun of, like the, the front batter man and that Colorado hat, I don't like those hats. I told Leon that. Did I not we tell you that? Leon? About it. We, yeah. I said to you, I don't like those fucking hats. And I told him, I said, I, I told Leon my opinion. But you also have to be ready for the criticism because when you're dull, when you're dishing out criticisms yourself, you're exponentially more likely to receive criticism from others. So when when I do a hat that doesn't come out the way I wanted, you know, I get torn up for it and that's okay, man. It comes with the territory because I built a platform that's built on, on being critical of other people's work. Sometimes it wasn't meant to do that, but it was just like some sort of Avenue to just, it evolved into that. Cause remember this used to be nameless companies, just these companies with nameless people making hats. And we were, yeah, we were just saying whether or not we liked them, but then people got involved and feelings got involved and more collaborations got involved and all that kind of stuff. So then it evolved and you're actually criticizing someone's work. It's no longer some like faceless organization. But this guy, Henry, he says, oh, it's just a joke. Well, yeah, maybe, may, maybe I don't, I'm, I'm not inside your head, but it certainly feels like it's pointed in a certain direction for a certain reason, because not everyone's not, no one's that naive to believe that like oh okay you're just like now you're on a fucking freight train now you're doing everything that the guy brings out and you know it's like the reason why i say you have to be careful is yes we have to be careful because we're critical of other people's house but if you've done some shit that's questionable in the community and then you start tearing people up listen that's when it's going to start to fucking come out <laughs> like 
you know, so don't get all upset when like you criticize something and then that person decides, Hey, well, yeah. All right. Well, guess what? I'm going to show something that you did. That's not necessarily very reputable because you're taking shots at me. That's how fucking life works. So be careful, you know, what doors you open, because if you don't have a, if your closet's not clean, people are going to find it. If there's something hiding under your bed, people are going to find it. That's how, it, that's how the world is, man. And I think like, I think like, you know, this shit is just getting old. The negativity and all that kind of shit, you know, I, and I did donate a hundred dollars to his um, hat documentary. Yeah. And I'll tell you why, because I thought he was really trying to do something positive. And when I see someone like trying to do something positive, no one else donated what I donated. It's not only a hundred bucks, but I'm like, you know what, man, I'm going to send this guy a hundred bucks. Maybe he's going to do something real positive with it. And he probably fucking took my money too, but I'm not, I'm not crying over that shit. You know why? Because I'm not a fucking loser. Yeah. You did it with good intentions. I did it with good intentions. I wanted to help somebody out who was trying to do something cool. And at the end of the day, you know, he probably stole my money too, but I'm not losing much sleep over it. The next hundred will be a lot easier for me to get than it was to lose that hundred. You know, make sense. Hundred percent. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I really enjoyed doing this show with you guys. I love our viewers. They were they were really on top of their game today. I've already stated a hundred times for you people that keep they keep saying, "Hey, um, you know, pre-order for the for that for that um Yakima." That's happening. Don't worry, that's happening. We already said it. I already said it. So with that, I want to thank you guys again, Leon, big fellow. Take us away. Yes, uh, shout out to you guys for watching. So make sure you guys are dropping a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. For Josh, Leon, and Pierre, we're out of here. See you, everybody. Peace.